Hello. I'm making this video to show you a new technique that I learned of how to make some interesting backgrounds for portraits and still lifes. And uh, for this you want to work with uh, importing some Photoshop brushes. So just go to your menu under Brushes and choose New from Photoshop Brush Stamps. I have a folder that I've collected a free brush stamps from offline and I'll just pick one of these categories and uh, Painter 2016 will automatically load these into a category for you so just tell it OK and it's importing the stamps. So once they're imported I think of them in terms more of a stamp than a brush and I'll show you why. Um, when I pick this first one, and I'll pick a darker color, when you click your brush down, you get the outline of a paint daub. But when you go to paint with it, it's not that attractive of a stroke. So clear this off. Uh, I'll clear this off and show you a trick to work with that paint daub. So I've still got that same brush loaded. But I'm going to go up here to my stroke jitter and set it to around 1, oh, 102, 1.02 or 1.04. Then I'm going to go to my color variability on that brush and set it to from color set. So it'll be picking up colors from whichever color set I choose. So I've got this one I call Muted Beach House. and it's going to pick up those different colors and with that jitter set it's actually going to, when you take a stroke, it's actually going to lay down a few different strokes at once. So I'm just dragging my paintbrush across and you can see it's putting a lot of those on. Now, another thing you can do is open up your advanced brush controls. and you can actually play with the settings under the angle and change some of those angles and angle jitter and the angle range which when you hover over it it shows you that what it does with that stroke it'll turn it and by doing that and changing the step on it you change the direction of those different blobs as they're going on to your paper. So instead of like say this line of dots always facing the same direction, it will actually move around in different places with your brush. So then you don't get so much of a patterned look. Now this is actually a light paint color set, but it still can be maybe a little too dark and overpowering for what you're going to use for your foreground. So really all you have to do is go up and play with your resaturation then and lower it. And uh, then when you clear your canvas off and start painting again, you get less deep colors. It's unlimited because of all the different varieties of strokes you can load from Photoshop. I'll choose one. That one you remember had a lot of rough edges. This one is more square shaped. And I'll show you the dab before I change the settings on it. Well, it looked square in the thing, but it's it's got a different shape to it. Um, there, we'll take this second one because it's a little different from what I first started with. Then you go back through, change your color variability, change your stroke jitter, and you can play with the angles, set those at different, and the angle range can go up quite high, and your step can be anywhere you'd like it. I'll change to some different colors, so a different color set, so you can see this is at 100% with the sat saturation. So even though it's 
pastel colors, it's coming in pretty dark because of that resaturation set so high. So now if you go down and lower that, you'll see the difference you can get in a background down below. You can get some cloudy, and of course there's so much you can do with blender brushes and everything to change these even more. But you can see the possibilities um, with playing with Photoshop brushes inside of your Painter 2016. Play with your jitter, your resaturation, and choose colors from color sets. I think you'll you'll have a lot of fun just discovering different looks you can get from different brushes using different colors in and the stroke patterns using different uh, saturations and different amounts of jitter on your brush. So I hope this has been helpful in showing you some ways you can play with brushes to create new backgrounds for paintings and still lifes.